Welcome to today's lesson, Inside of the Foot Passing for Soccer. Let's get it going. For materials, all you'll need are some soccer balls and a set of cones. Today's lesson objective is to be able to pass accurately between two cones at a distance of 10 yards to your partner, seven out of 10 times. Secondary objective is to be able to tell your partner the three key tips for passing with the inside of the foot. We're gonna start with a nice, easy warm up. These cones are 10 yards apart. We're just gonna start dragging the ball forward. The first time and down, you can do it walking. Once you get comfortable, I want you to add a hop to it. So we're gonna go down and back, walking, and then we'll go down and back again with the hop. All right, same thing, except now we're dragging the ball across. Start with your left foot, come back with your right foot. So you can start with walking across, and then the second time down and back, you're gonna add a hop to it. So first one, just walking. Right, next one we're just gonna hit the ball back and forth for 30 seconds after 30 seconds I want you to go to the cone and back going forward so 30 seconds first just in place Remember you're hitting the ball with every step. The last warm up we'll do, we're hitting the ball with the top of our foot on our laces. Just hitting it in front of us, taking one step, hitting it again. So we'll start going down with the right then come back with the left. Second time through, try to do it a little bit more quickly. All right, now you should feel some blood flowing, should be feeling pretty good. Check out my dynamic stretches video in the, in the description for the next set of drills. Now we're ready to get into our passing mechanics. We're passing with the inside of our foot. So if you're passing with your right foot to start, you'll take your left foot, plant it next to the ball with your toes pointing at your target. When we kick the ball, we wanna hit it with the center of our foot. We don't wanna curl it or get to the outside surfaces. It's right in the center and the center of the ball. We want our hips and shoulders square at our target. We wanna lean over as we hit the ball because if you lean back, that's one of the most common mistakes that beginners make. The ball will start to fly up. I like to imagine my foot as kind of like a putter. The three things to remember, plant your power leg next to the ball with your toe pointed towards your target. Lean over the ball and hit the ball with the center of your foot in the center of the ball. And make sure you get that follow through towards your target. So practice for five to 10 minutes on your own with the partner just working on those mechanics, and then we'll get into the test. So after you've gotten practice with your partner working on those mechanics, it's test time. We're gonna have the cones about one stride apart. So for me, that's about a sh shoulder width and a half apart. And the cones are 10, part, 10 yards apart in uh, length. You're gonna do 10 passes with your right leg 10 passes with your left leg. Record how many you get out of 10 for each leg.
triangle set up with the cones. Sebastian's gonna run across. The person in the center is gonna pass to the outside of the cone. And the partner is gonna receive the pass and then pass with the outside foot. So on this side over here, Sebastian's gonna kick with his right foot. On the other side, he's gonna kick with his left foot. For the first time through it, I want you to, uh, to trap the ball. That means receive the ball, get a touch on it, and then pass it. Second time through, we're gonna do a one touch pass. So first time through, we're just receiving the ball and then kicking it back to the center. Yep. Going across. And the person in the center should alternate their feet as they pass as well. We're gonna get 10 reps with each foot. So after you've done 10 reps with each foot, you'll switch. After your partner does 10 reps with each foot, you'll do it again, this time with one touch on the pass. over to my right leg and make the pass with my right foot. He'll do the opposite, but when we come back, we'll switch. So now I'm receiving it with my right leg, hitting over to my left, and then making the pass with my left. You'll go for one minute, see how many times you can get down and back without hitting the cone. All right, you ready? for the next one. All right, so this one is the same concept as the last drill, except we've progressed to a longer distance. Sebastian's gonna pass to me on my left side. I receive it with my left foot, kicking it over to the right, and then I pass it with my right leg. He'll do the same thing, receive with his left, pass with his right. Do one minute this way, and then switch after a minute.
So for this one, we have a square box. The first cone to the second cone, you're sprinting. So go ahead, sprint. When you get to the next cone, side shuffle, back pedal, finish with a side shuffle, and then your partner will go. And then you'll keep switching. You'll do it three times total. As fast as you can go. All right, you should be nice, warm, ready to go. We're gonna finish our lesson with some plyometrics and some speed work. So the first one we're doing are ski jumps. So we're here. If I'm on my left leg, I'm jumping over to my right. If I'm on my right leg, I'm jumping to my left. We're gonna do three sets of five jumps on each leg. So this will be one, that's one, two, do five, take a breather, do five more, take a breather, and then finish with five more. For this last drill, we're sprinting around the cone. Just nice sharp cut there. When you get to the third cone, you're doing a figure eight around it, coming back and sprinting in. Your partner will time you, see how fast you can do it. You'll switch after you get your time. You'll do three times total. Thank you for joining our lesson today on Inside of the Foot Passing. Quiz time, Sebastian. What were three main tips that we learned about today? Uh, make sure to fall through the ball. Uh, keep your foot nice and square and hit it with the middle of your foot. And make sure that you point your toe in the direction that you want the ball to go to. With your power leg, right? That's correct. All right, so once you're all done, complete your static stretching. Link in the description. Take this time to reflect on the lesson, what you learned, what were some things that went well, and what were some things you still need to work on. See you next time.